Hi everybody, we are going to talk about our amazing city, Benevento. Have you ever heard about Benevento, a city situated in the south of Italy? The origins of Benevento are very ancient, did you know? They go back to the Samnitis era. was ruled by the Romans from 343 to 219 before Christ. A historical event related to the Samnites is the Forte Gaudine battle that took place on the Via Appia which still exists nowadays. Guess what the battle ended with the Samnites defeating the Romans. The name of this city derives from Beneventum, originally called Maleventum, which the Romans regarded it as of evil augury and changed it into one of a more fortunate meanings. And now, prepare to get scared. Benevento is also famous for the meat of witches. The legend says that magical women used to meet under a walnut tree during the red moon nights doing magical spells. Even if Benevento is a small city, there are lots of historical monuments like Santa Sofia's church, which takes us back to the Lombard art and is part of the world's UNESCO's heritage list. Then there is also the Roman theater, which takes us back to Gladiator's age and the Trajan art, which has been created to remember the age of the Trajan Imperial. Then we have also the Rocca dei Rettori, which is a powerful fortress in the center of the city. These are the monuments that tell the history of Benevento, but there is also a fantastic place to visit to represent the contemporary art in our city. We're talking about Hortus Conclusus. It's an open-air art gallery and a garden uh, made by the well-known local artist Mimmo Palladino. The entrance is from a small side lane of Corso Garibaldi. It was conceived as an open-air exhibition space. Now the Hortus Conclusus is an enjoyable and rather mysterious location, brightened by the colors of lilies, palm trees and roses, and surrounded by allegoric sculptures. The most interesting sculpture of Palladino composition is perhaps the bronze horse, which stands on a wall and seems to dominate Benevento. It has a golden mask like Agamemnon's that makes it seem divine and evokes the thought of the Troia's horse. Helmets scatter on the ground, a shield, a large disc which is a fountain, the water that flows from the top of this fountain is collected in a basin, an object taken from the daily life of the past with damsels made shiny by use. Water is an important element in the composition, also because with its sound it stresses the silence and the flow of thoughts. Particularly interesting is a human form with long outstretched arms, which on blooms small heads. Other heads are upside down on an umbrella and they represent the story of Benevento too because they represent fossils and uh, horses and ox skulls. At the bottom of the garden, there is a red architectural structure under which there is another fountain with a large tub and a bench made of uh, colored concrete blocks. There is a kind of totem too. Stop, stop. He can go on describing this enchanted garden, but to be enveloped by the magic atmosphere. Come and visit it. We are waiting for you!